dear students in this session we will discuss two variable by variate expectation we have studied expectation in case of single random variable so in this session we will discuss in case of bivariate random variable the two variable expectation is defined by expected value of function of two variables x and y random variables which is equal to double integral from minus infinity to plus infinity the function of x comma y into joint probability density function f x y of x comma y into dy dx so this is the definition of expectation of two random variables or two variable expectation note that if this function g of x comma y is a function of single random variable say x then this definition reduces to the expectation of a single random variable that is expected value of g of x will be equal to minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity in place of g of x comma y we have g of x into f x y comma uh, x y of x comma y into d y d x into d y d x so which is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity take this as uh, g of x outside then minus infinity to plus infinity the joint density function d y into d x so we know that minus infinity to plus infinity f x y x comma y uh, d y is f x of x so this is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity g of x and this is f x of x this is the definition of marginal density function of the random variable x f x of x equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f x y of x comma y into d y so then d x so this is expected expected value of a uh, function of single random variable where f x of x is the probability density function of the random variable x so next concept is correlation of x and y so correlation of x and y is the expected value of the product of the random variable x and y so the expected value of the product of the random variable x and y so x and y is called correlation of the random variables x and y that is expected value of the product xy which is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity xy the joint density function dy dx so this is known as the correlation of the random variable x and y is the correlation of the random variable x and y next covariance of x and y the covariance of x and y is denoted by cov in bracket we write x into y and is uh, defined as covariance of xy is the expected value of uh, x minus mu x into y minus mu y so if you replace x uh, y by x you will get covariance of x into x x square so that is equal to expected value of x minus mu x and uh, x minus mu x that means expected value of x minus mu x whole square so that means that means the covariance of the random variable x into x is nothing but the variance of x if you multiply x minus mu x with y minus mu y you will get this that is x into y so mu x into y minus mu y into x minus into minus plus mu x into mu y so this is equal to using the linearity property of the expected value expected value of x y minus mu x is a fixed value mu x into expected value of y right minus mu y into expected value of x minus into minus plus mu x into mu y 
mu x into mu y. So you can see that this is mu y. Expected value of uh, expected value of y is the mean value of y mu y. So this is mu x. Therefore, one of the mu x and mu y get cancels. So you will get expected value of x y. Expected value of x y minus one mu x mu y remains. So mu x into mu y. So therefore, you can express covariance of x y in terms of expected value of x y minus the product of mean of x into mean of y. The product of mean of x and mean of y. We found in our previous discussion covariance of x y is equal to uh, expected value of x y. This is also known as correlation minus the product of the mean of x and mean of y. So, a few things we can note here. The first thing is if one of the mean is 0, mean of the x or mean of y, anyone is 0, so then covariance of x y is equal to expected value of x y. Covariance of x y is equal to ex expected value of x y, that is correlation between x and y. So, if mean of any one of the random variable, random variable is 0 is 0 then then covariance of x y is same as expected value of x y so covariance is equal to correlation of x and y the second one is if covariance of x y equal to 0 then we say that x and y are uncorrelated that means x and y are uncorrelated then from this equation since this is 0 expected value of x y must be equal to mu x mu y so expected value of x y minus mu x minus mu y is equal to 0 implies expected value of x y is equal to mean of x and into mean of y so this is also equal to mu x means expected value of x and mu y means expected value of y. So, therefore, if x and y are uncorrelated, then expected value of x y is same as expected value of x into expected value of y. That means, the expected value of the product x and y is equal to the product of the expected values of x and y. Next, orthogonality of two dimensional random variables. If the correlation is equal to 0, that is, if expected value of x, y is equal to 0, then, then the random variable x and y are independent, are orthogonal, not independent, it's orthogonal, then x and y are orthogonal, orthogonal. So, from this equation, once again, if expected value of x y is equal to 0, expected value of x y is equal to 0, then you will get covariance of x y is minus of mu x mu y. That means, if x and y are independent, that is, from the equation, that is, covariance of x y must be equal to minus mu x mu mu y if you take this as star then from star you will get covariance of x y is equal to minus mu x into mu y independent random variables so if x and y are independent random variable then expected value of x y which is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity x into y joint probability density function dx dy can be written as minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity x y so this we can write as fx of x into f y of y the reason is x and y are independent when when x and y are independent f x y of x comma y can be written as f x of x into f y of y right so this therefore expected value of x y will be equal to 
so this we can uh, split uh, this we can write as the product of minus infinity to plus infinity x fx of x dx x fx of x dx into minus infinity to plus infinity y fy of y dy y fy of y dy so we can write like this the reason is so these are the constant limits and uh, we can separate the functions of x and functions of y so this is equal to expected value of xy is equal to so this one is actually expected value of x and this one is expected value of y expected value of y so therefore if x and y are independent then expected value of xy is equal to expected value of uh, the expected value of x into expected value of y next the correlation coefficient the correlation coefficient is uh, denoted by rho xy suffix xy and is defined as rho xy is the is equal to covariance of xy divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y so now let us uh, prove that the modulus of uh, rho xy is less than or equal to 1 so clearly expected value of x minus mu x by sigma x plus r minus y minus mu y by sigma x so whole square is always greater than or equal to 0 so use a plus b or a minus b whole square formula you will get expected value of square it x minus mu whole square sigma square plus r minus 2 times these two values x minus mu x by sigma x into y minus mu y by sigma y plus square of the second term that is y minus mu y by sigma y whole square or we can write it as y minus mu y whole square sigma y square and this much is greater than or equal to 0 so if you use the linearity property of the expected value you know that expected value of x minus mu whole square is expected value of x minus uh, mu x whole square is variance of x what is the variance of x sigma x square so divided by sigma x square so plus or minus 2 times expected value of x minus mu x uh into expected uh, sorry expected value of x minus mu x into y minus mu y expected value of x minus mu x into y minus mu y is covariance of xy is covariance of xy divided by sigma x into sigma y so this two as it is this two as it is and expected value of this product is covariance of xy similarly expected value of y minus mu y whole square is sigma y square divided by this as it is that is sigma y square so sigma x square sigma x square cancels similarly sigma y square sigma y square cancels you will get here one here also one so therefore this is uh, covariance of xy by sigma x sigma y is correlation coefficient xy right that is This one plus one is two. Two plus r minus two uh, correlation coefficient of x y. Uh, uh, you can take two common. So two times one plus r minus uh, rho x y. So two is uh, not equal to zero. Therefore, you can take one plus r minus rho x y is greater than or equal to zero. Or divide both side by two, you will get this. So the this uh, gives us. 1 plus rho x y is greater than or equal to 0 or 1 minus rho x y is greater than or equal to 0 so from this you will get rho x y is greater than or equal to minus 1 and from this you will get 1 is greater than or equal to rho x so if you combine these two minus 1 less than or equal to rho x y and rho x y is less than or equal to 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to rho x y and rho xy is less than or equal to 1 that means the modulus or absolute value of rho xy is less than or equal to 